This is the story of a cross section at coordinates 22 degrees north and 145 degrees east in the city of Seton on Earth. A long, long time ago, there was a river with strong currents that carried sediments and formed a layer of Annika conglomerate. Sometime later, the river calmed down and became weak. During this time, a layer of DeMart sandstone was deposited. We found that it has C14 in it that is at 25%, which tells us that two half-lives have gone by and this rock is 11,460 years old. As years went on, the river turned into a calm and shallow lake and thus formed a layer of Mila limestone. We can see at this point that the top of this layer was eroded away, which creates a disconformity in this cross section. Then a swamp came along and the deposition of Eli Cole took place on top of the Mila limestone. Over time, the swamp turned back into a calm river and another layer of sandstone was formed. This sandstone is called lily sandstone. This sandstone has 50% C14, which tells us that it is 5,730 years old. The final layer in our cross section is Clare Shale, and it was formed in gentle waters. But then a fault line came along and split the cross section in half. The section on the left is the foot wall, and the section on the right is the hanging wall. Since the hanging wall moved down, we can tell that this is a normal tension fault. Wind erosion took place on the surface and eroded away some of the top layer. Sometime later, an igneous intrusion of granite came up into the Annika conglomerate, DeMart sandstone, and Mila limestone. Around the granite, contact metamorphism took place. And that is the full history of the Seton cross-section.